Let's look at an example problem to practice balancing. If we mix nitric acid and aqueous calcium hydroxide, you will make liquid water and a calcium nitrate solution. Let's write and balance that equation. We can include all the states of matter because they're given to us. Nitric acid is an oxyacid made with a nitrate ion. Nitrate is NO3 with a minus charge, so nitric acid is HNO3. And all the acids we're dealing with this year are aqueous. And I'm combining it with calcium hydroxide. Calcium has a plus two charge. Hydroxide is OH with a one minus charge. So I have to write CaOH2. And I say that that is also a solution that's aqueous. That's gonna produce water and the water is going to be a liquid, and calcium nitrate. Well, we already said that calcium forms a plus two charge, and nitrate is NO3 with a one minus charge. So this will be CaNO3-2, and we're told that that is an aqueous solution as well. I'm going to start with the most complicated thing here. So that's the calcium nitrate. I see I have two nitrates here, so I'm going to treat that as a unit. So I'm going to put a two in front of my HNO3. Now I have hydroxide on one side and water on the other side, so this might be helpful to think of water as HOH. Because if I have two hydroxides and my calcium hydroxides, I'm gonna want two hydroxides with my water. And that also balances the two H's from my nitric acid. So that's actually my balanced equation. Two HNO3 plus CaOH2 yields two H2O and CaNO3 too. One more time, nitric acid is HNO3, calcium hydroxide is CaOH2, and they make water and calcium nitrate, which is CaNO3 too. And to balance that, you're gonna want two nitric acids and two waters.